uh, so for me at the time when I when I finished playing football and I went straight to Hampton and I, I thought I knew every bloody thing. I thought, yeah, man, man, man this would be easy, easy-ish. The results said differently. <laughs> so it was hard. But it's it's managing or how I see it is is managing individual individuals. And I, I guess from my my time from from beginning of coaching to, to now, it's just it's a short journey. I, I believe that uh, I've learned, and you've got to learn how to, to manage individuals rather than, you know, just expecting everyone to fall into line and, and treating everybody so called the same, especially the younger ones. That that's a massive uh, difference for, for me. Working with kids, one you've got to be patient massively, um, and then uh, with the kids, you then got to work with the parents as well, and you're juggling so many so many factors in it. And trying to keep everyone happy as well. First of all, most we just got them through the door. Then the obligation of, of the club. Then you put them in situations wherever they can deal with situations. And if they're not, and it's and it's it's cutthroat. If they're not, that sh snapshot chance that they that they have, you know, it, it might not be there for them. Or for for us as a, as a club, it might they might leave us, then go to the next club. But even that situation. Even that situation then arises, uh, asks questions, because if a boy gets released from us and he goes to another club, okay, then that is a, a mental toughness within that boy, whether he forgets football entirely or he picks himself up and then he goes again. Do you know what I mean? So th there's always there's always stresses that you you put on them to see whether they can deal with handling football because it's it's a harsh. Yeah, it's, it's a harsh environment.